Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I'm having a look at a George Dickel. It's the George Dickel number 12. This is one of the a bit superior uh, bottlings of the distillery. You start off with the white whiskey, which is the not um, aged stuff directly from the still after the chill filtration which I'll come to later. Then you have the number eight, which is the standard bottling. Then you have the 12, which is uh, said here, uh, number 12 from resting our whiskey in oak barrels for years longer than the classic number eight. So it's a few years longer, I would estimate it at, I don't know, seven, eight years, nine years maybe. Um, I think I've done the distillery video and asked the master distiller of the time and she told me that it's um, it's around that age, but have a look at the video if you want to know more about that. And after that, there's only the single barrel and they have a age statement on there. So it's 10 years, nine years old, which is a bit more intense even than that one. But this one is uh, like the bit more premium one and also a bit more premium price. But what you get is a liter bottle. Um, so you get a bit more kick to it. It's 90 proof, that's 45 ABV. And the interesting thing is it's a sour mash, uh, Dickel Tennessee sour mash whiskey. Superior number 12 recipe, distilled in charcoal mallet at George Dickel uh, in company Tullahoma, Tennessee. So um, what they do is they do follow kind of the bourbon rules. And what they then do to be able to call it Tennessee whiskey is they have to charcoal mellow it in special tanks. So they have um, a few foot high tanks that go up to here about there. And they fill it up with charcoal that they burned themselves back in, the, in their yard. And then they fill in the new spirit. And this charcoal acts like an active charcoal filter and all the reactive parts in the uh, raw spirit that are really sharp and not really edgy and and uh, yeah you don't like there they react with the charcoal and the charcoal takes these unwanted flavors out so it's kind of a filtering process after the um after the distillation then they get matured in the cask and the product is this bottle here and yeah. It's a plastic stopper, but it does its job. So this is one of the bottles that is meant to be yeah, enjoyed and not just looked at. Oh, it's a, it's a really typical American whiskey. It has a lot of vanilla, a lot of caramel and a bit more caramel than vanilla. And also there's a bit of oak coming through already. So it's, you already realize within the smell, it's a bit older. And now with the second sip, um, I do already feel a bit of the, the spiciness coming through. So the mash bill, um, not quite sure the mash bill uh, is, but uh, they do use uh, a lot of corn, more than 50%. And then they do have a bit of, uh, wheat uh, malted barley and they do have um, rye in there no weed and the rye is very strong and spicy like a rye whiskey a bit of a, a rye touch is in there definitely so it's a, a very mild gentle very sweet caramel vanilla like with a with a slight touch of spiciness to it Mmm. 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 Wow. Very, very sweet and pretty intense. So 45% ABV. Mm, yeah, there's a bit of intensity there. And there's a lot of caramel in there. Bit of vanilla as well. A lot of sweetness. I have stickiness. And now that the sweetness fades away a bit more. You, you end up with more spiciness. You feel a bit of the oak, a bit of a dry oak, a little bit of a 
a rye note, like a rye bread. And it's, it's a nice whiskey, but it's pretty overwhelming in the flavor. So in terms of classification, it's a nice whiskey if you want really something sweet to taste. Um, if you can drink more, like like have a everyday dram, you'd really have to be into one of these sweet stuff. So if you're really a guy who really likes sweets, then maybe that's your thing. If you if you're more into the more subtle scotch, more oaky, more bitter tones, then this might be really too much for you. Hmm. Hmm. I can see why um, why people would buy this because it's a you realize it's a full flavored older um, Tennessee whiskey, but uh, it's not as expensive as the the ten year old or the single barrel um, or nine year old. Can't quite remember. I've, I've taken the bottle somewhere else, but I still do have it. One of my favorite bottles, but this one is is nearly there. So this one is nearly at the point of being a like a, a really really ripe american tennessee whiskey but it's still it's very far from under ripe but it still ha has a bit of lead weight you could still um store it a bit longer but i think it's a, a nice a nice um a nice whiskey so yeah thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to go on our channel. There is a distillery video about the whole distillery, how all the Dickel whiskies are made and an interview about hmm, pretty much all the uh, bottlings of the distillery. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.